In this video, I'm going to show you how to find meme coins on Solana early and how to potentially do 100x, the mythical 100x that happens from time to time. You might have seen on Twitter that there are people posting their PNL. Some of them are fake, but some of them are true. And this is the case with Mitch, who really started with one soul in February and he ran that up to $2 million within a couple of months. Of course, this is an outlier, but we're looking for stuff like that. And the reason for uh, me showing you that is basically that you can see that he's into small meme coins. So this Solana coins here, 166 uh, thousand dollars is basically uh, from taking profit. So basically most of his portfolio is still in smaller coins like Retardio, Billy, Invisible Cat, haha. <laughs> and of course, at the time of watching that, he probably sold some part of that. Uh, this tweet is already from a couple of days ago. So uh, this portfolio is super fluid. So in this video, we're going to talk how to find meme coins early and can you really do 100X? Uh, we're going to look at the coins that are smaller. So first thing is that you need to have coins that are below say 100 million dollar market cap uh, coins over 100 million market cap are still great but if you're looking for this super outliers you won't be able to do 100x because those coins won't go up to like 10 billion dollars uh, with the market cap of course that might happen in the very special cases for example if you were to hit like pepe or with very early on but you have to be uh, um, you have to know that this happens really rarely and probably we're looking at smaller coins. So the main point here is that we're going to also find memes that make you laugh or cringe. This is really important but because memes should be funny in the end to be really viral and you should have people that uh, support these memes uh, but, but by making memes on Twitter and Telegram and spreading the news or Instagram and TikTok. Uh, so basically you need to have a meme coin uh, that has an interesting meme behind it, something that makes you laugh or cringe. This is, those are the best and you have to really have a clear thesis. Something like, I don't know, like Blue Cat or like Yellow Dog just doesn't make it through because there's nothing that uh, incites emotions, there's nothing exciting about it. You need to find something that is exciting. So we're going to have a look at a couple of things here. First of all, I'm going to talk also about the Bullex platform. Bullex is the best place to trade meme coins and as well discover new meme coins. This is what I'm doing uh, in my trading streams. You can see that uh, I already did a couple uh, so far so good, uh, but those are longer ones. This is a short video for everyone to have the basics for finding meme coins. Uh, so there are two options on Bullex and I'm going to explore there. We go then to Twitter list and then different Telegram channels. Uh, so these are the places where you can find new meme coins. Uh, and then I'm going to uh, talk about what to check for when you find a new meme coin. But because apart from the fact that you need to have a meme coin that makes you laugh or cringe, then you really need to check for a couple of details like how much of the token is owned by the developer, how much is uh, owned by insiders, whether there are any super fans, can you become a super fan of a particular token and so on. So there are a couple of the uh, things on the checklist that you should check before jumping into a coin. This is kind of the do your research uh, part of jumping jumping into any coin and you should always do that research. Remember that nothing here is uh, advice, financial advice. Crypto is risky and especially meme coins, you can lose all your money. So be careful out there. So we're going to start with the first thing on the list, which is Bullex platform. And we're going to go with Token Explorer. So once you log into Bullex, you log in with your Telegram. The link is down below in the description. You can grab that and just go directly through this. You will have a separate account uh, just on Bullex. You have to deposit your funds there, but it's separated and you can of course always withdraw that without any problems. So uh, explore uh, tab, you have trending and then you can see uh, trending in the last hour, trending in the last five minutes, trending in the last minute. So here you have all the coins and the cool thing is that you can also look at different filters. Uh, so I would definitely check uh, mean authority disabled, freeze authority disabled, LP burned. Uh, those are the crucial ones because it guarantees that uh, the developer won't be, for example, stopping you from selling, uh, won't be, uh, for example, won't rag you in a hard way. Of course, soft rags are always possible because, you know, developer can sell and the insiders can sell and the token will be basically dead. But this is uh, the risk of the game. There is nothing guaranteed here. 
Then if you have that, you can go through particular tokens and look at different stats. So for example, uh, just going randomly into this particular token, uh, you can look at the stats related to how many buys to how many sales there are. Uh, usually when there are more buys than sales, it's a good sign. Uh, uh, and basically, uh, it allows you to see also what's the what's the um, uh, volatility, what what people are trading. Uh, really great stuff. So this is exploring. This is the way to find coins uh, that you can have on your list and then try to go by one by one. Uh, in my previous stream, I basically was doing that uh, with a couple of meme coins, especially the culture coins, because that's the thesis that I have generally speaking. So culture related meme coins, things like Lockin, Giga Chat, Aura, Sigma, Let Him Cook, Super S. PSYOP and Man of Culture, uh, those are the coins that I was talking about on my stream. So going back to how to find meme coins and going back to exploring, uh, we have this explore trending. Uh, this is a great thing. Uh, you can put that on the uh, tokens on the list from that. If you find something interesting, another way to find new coins is Pump Vision. So Pump.fun is the best, currently the most popular place uh, for creating your own meme coin. And people are using that to create their own meme coins. Uh, but you have literally thousands of new meme coins every single day. As you can see, every single second there are new meme coins. Uh, so the same applies here. You can find interesting memes, but if you find something interesting, you have the stats here written for you directly by uh, by Bullex. So you have how much of the DEF is holding here. DEF has sold, for example, but top 10 holding is more than 15%, 56%. So that's a lot. Insiders hold 64%. So that's a lot uh, here. And you have other stats like that. You basically want that to be green. That's the ideal. Uh, and then have the meme to be funny. Of course, sometimes you can, you, in the, especially in the beginning, you have to, for example, allow, for example, for the top 10 holders to have, say, 25%. I would say that's the maximum that uh, you can allow for, uh, which still should be fine, especially with those early holders will st start uh, selling out. But definitely uh, higher than that is definitely risky and probably somewhere, someone will dump on you. Uh, so for example, here, Dark Sigma, uh, it's 30%. Uh, it's a little bit too high to risk it, even though the DEF has 3%, uh, inside just have 2%. Uh, but this may be something that's worth uh, to, to, to look at. Uh, so going back, so Pump Vision, this is great for discovering new coins. Uh, we're going back to the list. Uh, so you have those two things here. Uh, you can explore and pump vision on bull eggs. Again, the link is down below in the description. And then we're starting with interesting thing, which is the Twitter list. Of course, things on Twitter, uh, really depend on who, how you curate the list. I'm going to show you my list as kind of the alpha. If you're watching this, this is something that I use personally for the people I follow for, for like interesting takes. Those are the smaller accounts. So this is also interesting because smaller accounts is where the alpha is. Uh, many of those actually did made it. So for example, Mitch that I was showing you, but there are a couple of other people that are still hungry and showing different stuff. So I'm going to scroll through the list if you want to know them and then keep on following them, definitely please do. Uh, of course, you should always uh, take everything they say with a grain of salt, not jump into everything. Uh, they, of course, uh, tweet about the coins that they bought, but that's natural. Like they should be tweeting about the things that they bought in the end, uh, not about something that they do not believe into. But that means also that they can uh, sell uh, into your own exit liquidity. So, so you should uh, know when to enter, when to exit the trade. So those are the guys that I follow here. Uh, if you want to take notes, this is uh, good. And I'm going to show you in a moment how I use this particular list. But this is pretty simple because basically, uh, if you want to uh, use that kind of list, you basically go with the, uh, go, go with the whatever Twitter is giving you and just go one by one. Uh, it's given in a chrono chronological order. So if ever anyone is tweeting, for example, like a new meme coin, uh, say uh, here is Ponzi Zaur saying something about Meagles, uh, then basically you are the first to know it will appear right away here and you will have all the news. So if something someone is tweeting about a new kind of meme coin, uh, uh, for example, here, he news, uh, nom 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 uh, token, did 10x, uh, you will directly see it on your timeline. And I think this is really great. Uh, if you're serious about meme coins, then probably what you should have opened is something like bull eggs uh, with pump vision. So seeing what kind of new coins are appearing on pump.fun. And the other thing is having uh, this kind of curated list of people uh, shilling on, uh, on uh, Twitter. Uh, 
On top of that, if you want to add even more for discovering these new early gems, uh, is having different Telegram channels that you can follow. Uh, I'm not going to give you any Telegram channels, there are plenty, but uh, also the best ones are probably closed. Uh, you have to like, mostly it's all about the friends, uh, talking together about the particular calls. Those are the best ones. Do not pay for any Telegram channels. I wouldn't recommend that uh, unless you have a clear value from that. Uh, often like, you know, like a kind of like a weekly summary or something. But if you want to just pay for calls, this is probably not the best thing. So find uh, friends, especially on Twitter and form your own Telegram channel. This is probably the best thing to do. Now, so those are the sources you can find. Now what to check for in the meme coin. So I said already about the dev owning 5%. I'm going to give you uh, something on top of that. I think this is this one. So Ramos writing about that. Uh, there's 50 coins deployed per minute on pub.fun. So not to be flooded by all those comps and racks, you will need to add some filters. And this is our filters that are working well on Bullex. Uh, basically, he has this filter for 4.9% uh, of uh, dev holding. I think like 5%, 6% is still fine, but definitely single digit. Uh, he also looks for minimum holder stand, minimum volume $700, max market cap 11 k So super small coins altogether with dev holding really very small percent uh, here. And then you can definitely have everything like here uh, checked on Bullex. So you have dev holding for nine, 10 holders, volume 700. So for example, if you go to Pump Vision, you can add this filter, for example, with new creations here. And you can have exactly the same here. As you can see on the right, you can write dev holding here, for example, dev holding here for uh, for nine. You can have say ten holders and so on. So I, I could add all the filters here. Uh, this is really uh, this is really easy to do if you want to follow the rules yourself. Of course, the ideal scenario here is uh, this one is not for everyone. You can, for example, look for higher market cap coins because eleven market cap, uh, eleven thousand market cap is super small. Uh, so, but that's something that's really uh, crucial now. Uh, coin is not freezable mintable. I talked about that. Basically, you want to allow people uh, not to rag you by uh, disabling you selling. Uh, this is important, especially so you can also have that on pump.fun in any kind of the filter uh, here. Uh, but basically, if you, for example, go to explore, this is what I was showing you here. Uh, I have that mint authority disabled, freeze authority disabled, and LP burned. This is important. Now, going back to some of the other things to check for, uh, bubble maps for insider check. Uh, so you want to see how different wallets are connected if you were to go with particular tokens. Uh, so let's say uh, we go with some random token here. Uh, Right, and basically you have this option, uh, bubble map, and if you go with that, uh, the bubble map will be generated. Sometimes it's not available for newer coins, but this should be fine. And here you have it, uh, what I meant. So you have a huge cluster of people, of wallets that are connected, uh, that are holding 39%. So this is a hard pass on the coin. If you have a cluster like that, it means that connected wallets own together uh, almost half of the supply of the coin. So that was, of course, random coin that I checked. Uh, so you should be aware, uh, be aware on the things like that uh, and definitely check bubble maps. Now, finally, this is like a really what I'm looking for and this is really, really important because if you have that, uh, this is almost a guarantee that you have your coin go really high up. Not necessarily 10x, but maybe 5x, 3x, depending on where the coin is. So super funds. You have a super fun when you have a person talking about a single coin all the time. And usually the bigger the following the, the super fun has, the, the higher the token can go. Uh, I will give you an example of a super fun here. That's definitely, uh, that's definitely Vaidamo. Uh, and uh, this is something that uh, this is something that you can see right away. So Vaidamo is a super fan of locking token. Uh, he's tweeting about locking every single day, multiple times of the day. And it's not just a stupid, you know, repeating the same meme coin, uh, the same meme. It's really uh, finding new ways, entertaining ways to talk about locking in different ways. Uh, so it's basically also tweeting to others about the coin, but in a way that, you know, it's not about just shilling um, a particular ticker all the time. So those are not super fans. Super fans are really creative and those are the people that are talking about particular token, but they are talking in a funny and engaging way. Uh, and this is, so for example, you know, like locking in one convenience store at a time, um, different actions that make it uh, that make it interesting without just showing the same meme, uh, 
uh, over and over again. So this is what the super fun looks like. Uh, if you want to check it, check Vaidamo and look for people similar to him. If you find someone like that, uh, definitely follow the coin. This is the best sign that you have something interesting. So altogether, this is all I have for the introduction to how to find meme coins early. I think this is the best alpha I could uh, find if you want to start. Of course, there are different caveats and it takes a lot of learning, uh, especially a lot of learning by trying it yourself because you can't really uh, learn it without losing some money first. So be careful out there, start with smaller sums, see how it goes for you and then scale up. And of course, I recommend fully bullex. Uh, this is really a great platform for trading. And finally, have a look at MemeCoin Creator Guide. This is the guide that I created uh, for people that want to launch their successful and be successful at launching their own meme coin. So this is the other side on how to launch your meme coin and how to market it, how to find a uh, community. I talk about super fans. I talk about uh, other stuff that's important when people are looking for it. So if you're into more into creating, have a look at the guide. Uh, let me know also in the comments what you think. All the links are down below in the description to the guide and to bullex and have fun trading meme coins.